Well, I expect you already know that Jack's daddy was dead from something or another and that his mommy was real frail and poor and not expected to live too long. If, however, you were not wealthy, or even if you were, but were not particularly interested in the Mariana Trench or New Year's Eve parties or lavish vacations, but were interested rather in the amassing forces of darkness that threaten at nearly every turn the fate of the planet. I learned the feel of baseball by studying the direction of everyone else's attention, then searching for the path of the rapidly bending grass, dazzling my peers by seeming to wait until the very last second to gather and deliver the ball. Maggie had been spending most of her time at home and in a flannel robe. Mark had no idea where she'd even gotten the thing. He only knew that one day, about two weeks ago, he'd come home from work and she was wearing it. I, Zelia Nunes, sensibly married only once, 45, no longer young, has been dead, four children, mortgaged, harried. What's left of the thinned handkerchief a vine island, this elongated frown on him. A wind sweeps over the lake, turning pages in this book of waves. Beyond the red spruce, clouds cling to the top of Blue Mountain. The University of Kentucky has an amazing literary tradition. The recitation of writers who have been part of our program here is a pretty illustrious list of American writers. Wendell Berry and, and Gurney Norman and James Baker Hall and Bobby Ann Mason and Ed McClanahan were considered, you know, these celebrity level writers. So there's a legacy there. On the one hand, it's a young department, but on the other hand, we've got, you know, generations of writers. A little while later, Jack came by and heard the little dog crying, and he looked down in the creek bed, and there that little dog was, all tangled up in them bars. It was such a pitiful sight, it like to tore Jack's heart plumb out. At end of day, I fall asleep, buried, in a life first quarried, then washed and wrung, stacked in no particular way, varied. The children cry out, a hard burst of lung. Like the old Chinese poets, they always sing the same song. The one that says the mountain is a cloud drifting through time. The poet, an empty reed, swaying among the water lilies. It's exciting because the students who come into the creative writing program, either as undergrads or as graduate students, they know this history. But it feels like, you know, we're trying to assemble this all-star team again. At this point, you would have left the offices of the Morrison World Travel Concern and would have found yourself inside what was sometimes known as the regional office. Hopefully, you would have not found yourself there by accident. In either case, when you arrived at level B4, the elevator doors would have opened and you would have seen stenciled on the wall in light blue calligraphy, the regional office. Then one day, a week ago max, he'd been parking the car and there was Maggie, walking down the other side of the street with Jerome. She was wearing the robe. It was afternoon. It was daylight. Mark had a sudden sinking feeling he was married to a loser. You know, we, we brought them in as these very young writers, and the next book they each wrote when they got to, to UK was reviewed in the New York Times. So it's, it's, it's fantastic. I feel like we have one of the strongest creative writing programs in, in the country. I think it's a really exciting time to be part of the English department because of the emphasis that's being put on the creative writing MFA um, and also the creative writing minor as well. Hannah and Julia and Frank and Eric and I are working really hard to create uh, a program that speaks to the regional uh, history and strengths, but also reaches out nationally and even internationally to bring students and writers to Kentucky to keep that, that uh, literary tradition uh, growing. The sun's odd fashion of pink slapped on the side of the house just before dark we wait until the trailing breath to lose, a kind of death. On my first day outside with glasses, I rode all the way home with my mouth open when I discovered that the real world had sharp edges. My first family reunion found me grinning and posing with 27 kids and 27 pairs of glasses. Creative writing at UK that has been in existence for so many years 
has um, has entered a um, um, a new era. And when I look at uh, what our new writers are putting down on the page and how people are responding to it, you know, I really think that we have something special going on. The talent right now at UK, I do feel like. Every once in a while you get these moments. They're extremely, extremely precious. This is one of those.